you know, Dan, what I like when I'm shopping on the internet is like how sort of dumb dumb it is. It's like, oh, I yeah. pick my product and I hit that little thing, little, little picture shopping cart, and there I am. Yeah. Um, if I want one of those on a website, yeah. if I have a business, yeah. how do I build a shopping cart? How do I build that? So um, th- th- I love the way this, that this question is written. It says, how do I build a shopping cart on my website? Which is interesting because there's two ways to build a shopping cart. Okay. You can build a shopping cart on your website all right. or next to your website. So you don't have to actually build it on your website. Okay. Um, you can have a whole separate shopping cart next to where they click shop and it goes. And they, they wouldn't know any, you know, wouldn't know, they wouldn't know any different, know. but like how to build it. Um, there are, there are, there are lots of platforms out there that you can use to build it like Shopify, big commerce, WooCommerce, those types of platforms. Um, Magento, which I believe is something else now, but, um, but where it gets complicated really quick is actually preparing the products. Do you remember like one of our other videos? I said that um, technology is not the most expensive part. Yeah. Shopping the carts company. are highly intensive in terms of creating the content. All the angles of the product, the product description, the price, yeah. Yeah. the height, width, and dimension of the box that it goes in, the weight, which shipping carrier are you going to use? Are you going to use real-time shipping? Um, there's so much that goes into that. And that's just one product. Yeah. One product can have nine images around yeah. it, right? Yeah. Just to make up that one product. So it can get kind of crazy really quick. I, we had we had one customer. She spent literally the entire summer writing all the content for her shopping cart. So that's there's so not really an easy summer. way around that. <clears throat> just know like when you're creating a shopping cart, it is it is a lot of work. I, I can't even sugarcoat this one. I can't tell you there's like this magic bullet to the to the other side. There's just not. Creating it's easy, but keeping it filled, so to speak. Yeah, and really well, that, well, that's the other thing too, fulfillment. Like once once yeah. you get it going and people start buying, can you fulfill? Yeah, yeah. So um, do you have the product is on the shelf? Are you drop shipping? Um, are you reliable? There's so much more that goes into it. That the only, the only uh, companies that I've seen that have been really successful with it, are the ones that actually carry their own stock. Like they control their own inventory, yeah. they carry their own stock. If you're drop shipping, it's sort of questionable. Yeah, sure. Because it's all it's all about customer experience. I mean, if you you know, if you're if you're selling stuff that you don't own and you're and somebody buys from you, you drop ship and it goes out to them. I mean, is that gonna take longer than Amazon? Because then they're just gonna go to Amazon. So there's right. like there's like there are tricks. There are tricks on how to get people to buy from you. It's all around trust. A lot of videos sure. on your products can really help. Yeah. So if, if maybe that's your problem, like how do I build an effective shopping cart? People will buy from you over Amazon. Well, actually, maybe that's that's a better way to frame this question. Yeah. Not how do I build a shopping cart, how do I build an effective shopping yeah. cart? Maybe the effective really shopping cart we found is really like a lot of videos, product review videos help because it builds trust. Okay, yeah. my gosh, these people are like, they're totally competent in this field and they're talking about this product and they're selling it to me. Therefore, I feel like I can trust and swipe my credit card and buy and I'm okay if it takes a couple extra days. We found that that's, that's really successful well, that's, if you can do that. Hey, and is there the added benefit of, because we talked about this in another video, how much time people spend on anything on your site and how it helps your Google ranking if mm-hmm. folks are watching these product videos? Yeah, shopping carts get a, usually get a lot of... So they're in, the midst, rank, they're in the midst of buying, but that's also helping... Yeah. A shopping cart on your site can help you rank higher because people, when people browse, you rank higher. So when people are like sitting on your website and they're just looking at stuff, your, your entire website, if you build your shopping cart in with your website, yeah. it will all rank higher. That's why wow. I like say when you separate them, it's not always effective because okay. this shopping cart gets rank, but your website sits down here. But if you, if you put them together, they rank higher. Uh, we can also hook you guys into like Google shopping. So like in our in our shopping cart, we have the ability to, you know, I, would, I don't want to say press a button, but it's close to pressing a button. So press they, a button and it just pumps all your data right into Google Shopping. That's awesome. So if somebody works with you guys, basically you guys have your own little shopping cart of what yeah. you need. Yep. So we can build you an effective yeah. shopping cart, put it in our shopping well, cart. We and get found, it done. That's this is kind of cool. There. We found that if we pump all your data into Google Shopping, from the shopping cart, you don't have to go out there and edit. We just pump it directly. All the products get pumped directly from our shopping cart. We found that that is actually a fantastic way to compete directly with Amazon. Wow. 
And Amazon's a big 800,000 pound yeah. gorilla. But what Google's doing is they're building a shopping experience, which I think is actually kind of neat. So like you're searching for something in Google, you ever click the shopping button and you look, I don't know if you've ever no, done this. No, I haven't. So I, when you I, Google something, there's a button called shopping. And what, it, what they've done is they've aggregated all the shopping carts around the world on your product. But when you go and look at the product and you come back, it actually gets a thumbnail of the product you looked at on that site inside of Google. So if you go to like five pages, you're gonna have five thumbnails oh, of those products. Cool, man. And then when you like the one you want, you can click it and go back to that site and buy it from that site. So Google is up to something pretty interesting here. If you are, we have a lot of clients that are, they, they work with Amazon, but they're completely afraid of Amazon. I know a lot of people afraid of, who work with Amazon. There's, there's where you can call us because we can absolutely help you diversify. Basically it's diversification. Like how do we diversify you so that you don't put, don't put all your risk into, into Amazon. It's one of those things that'll keep you up at night. I have some horror stories around that, but we went out to try to figure out, well, how do we really compete? How do we help our customers compete? And the whole Google shopping integration thing that we have going yeah, on yeah. is fa absolutely fantastic. So, well, so I think last bit of a piece of advice for you, uh, maybe click call, yeah. get in touch with these guys. Yeah. And uh, I, I know Dan for a while and they, they know their stuff. So. Dan, yeah, anything, else, guys anything else you want to add to this? No, I mean, we're here to help if you need help. Um, hopefully you guys learned something today. Our big thing here is to teach you something. Um, but if you have questions whatsoever, feel free to give us a call. Thank you. Thanks for watching.